everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1, and today we are going to be making a short sleeve Barbie pullover, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be working on a Barbie pullover or a Barbie jumper or a Barbie sweater. They're all the same thing, just different terminologies. You are going to need some 3.7 millimeter knitting needles. You are going to need scissors, some scrap yarn. Um, I use pen and paper to keep track of my rows. Um, did I say scissors? Yeah. Well, just watch the video. You'll see what you need as we go. Okay. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. So the way I make my slip knot is I put the tail and make a loop. I take that tail, I go around my thumb and I bring that tail through the part that was around my thumb and that gives you a slip knot. Okay, so let's do it again. Cross my yarn. Hold it where I crossed it. The tail's at the back. Go around my thumb. Put the tail through the loop that I made by going around my thumb. Pull tight and your slip knot. If you have another way of doing a slip knot, do it however you want, but this is for the brand new knitters that aren't used to making slip knots. That's how I do it. Okay, so to start, we are gonna cast on We're casting on 14 stitches. So make sure you're using your working yarn, not your tail. We're gonna go around our needle, pull through, and that's gonna go back on the needle. And then we're just gonna continue that. Go in the stitch, around the needle, pull through, and put it back on the needle. Do this for 14 stitches. And meet me back. So I've got my 14 stitches and I just want to make sure that you have a nice long tail because we're going to need it for sewing up this sweater at the end. Okay, so now to do the ribbing, which is the bottom of the sweater or the pullover, you're going to do a knit, bring your yarn forward, and then do a purl. So yarn to the back, do a knit. Yarn to the front and do a purl. You're going to do this all the way across for three rows. This counts as row one. So, yarn to the front is a purl. Yarn to the back is a knit. For three rows, do that, meet me back. So, I've done my three rows of ribbing or knit and purl. So now we're going to switch to the stockingette stitch, which is one full row of knit. Okay, so you're doing one full row of knit and then you do one full row of purl. So knitting, just like we did before, you go in your stitch around your needle, pull through and pop off in around pull through pop off in around pull through pop off okay so this is the knitting row and it goes by fairly quickly like this little sweater shouldn't take you more than an hour or so to make and if you're very new you know maybe two hours but you're gonna get so good at it and you're gonna love them you're gonna want to make a whole bunch all different colors um, yeah, so you're going to get so fast at them. You just won't even believe it. Okay. So that was the knit row and then we're going to do a purl row. So just like before around, but our yarn is at the front. So into the stitch around, pull through, pop off into the stitch around, pull through, pop off into the stitch 
pull through, pop off. Around, pull through, pop off. So you're gonna do this for a total of 10 rows. So we just did row one and row two. So you're always doing a knit row and then a full row of purl. 10 rows and we're just completing our second row here. Do that and meet me back. So I've done my 10 rows and look at this, isn't it just so cute already? Okay, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning. This is made in one piece. So you're not having to sew on sleeves. You're not having to, you know, you have to sew up the sides, but that's it. So yeah, it's, this is another reason I just love this pattern. Okay, so we're gonna start on the sleeves and we're doing short sleeves. So we're gonna go into that first stitch and we're gonna cast on five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that gave us the sleeve on this side. So we're gonna knit all the way across these stitches and then meet me back. Okay, so on this end, we're gonna put this sleeve. So we're gonna cast on five more stitches. So one, two, three, four, sorry, mess that one up, four, and five. So this should give you 24 stitches you want to count you go right ahead and now we're just gonna purl all across this row so do that meet me back so I've done my four rows now we are going to do our neck so we're gonna knit nine okay so and then I'm gonna show you how to cast off if you're a brand new knitter so one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we're gonna kind of move those stitches out of the way, not too far because we still have very working yarn. We're gonna knit the next two, one, two, and you do that first one and we're going to bring it over top and we're going to cast off six so that's one we're going to knit the next one and bring that one over top so that's casting off two three four five and six now if in the description i'm going to put my written pattern a link to my written pattern if you're reading along with the pattern it will say to cast off nine or sorry not nine it'll tell you to cast off eight six or eight is just fine i like a tighter neck so i've been making these for a long time I'm saying to you, go with the casting off of six, but if you wanna do the eight, it just means that Barbie's head will slip in easier, okay? So, and then we're gonna knit to the end of the row. And then for the next step, we are going to be working in purl. Okay. So this is the hardest row that you're gonna have to do, okay? And it's really not that hard, guys. So 
<laughs> Watch me. We are going to purl our nine. Okay, just like normal. So, we're yarn to the front. And we're just going to purl nine. So I'm at three, four, and I knocked the camera, sorry. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I want you to turn your work. And we are going to cast on the six that we cast off last row. So into the stitch, pull through, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Turn your work. Okay. Now, we are going to just continue purling for the rest of the row. Sorry, I got a little out of focus there. So just purl the rest of the row. Pearl, pearl, pearl. And here we go. Look at that, guys. You have put the neck of your pullover. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're now working on the back side of the sweater. So you're going to just reverse everything. So now we're going to do the four rows that we did for the sleeve. So we'll knit, purl, knit, purl, and then we'll cast off five, and then, well, anyway, do four rows. So one row knit, one row purl, one row knit, one row purl, and then meet me back. So I've done the four rows again for the um, sleeves. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cast off one of the sleeves. So you knit two and you bring one over the top. We're going to cast off five. So that was one. This will be two. Three. Four. And five. And I want you to knit the rest of the row, to, okay? Just like we did last time. Now, I had someone send me a message and ask, you know, won't the sleeves be lopsided? But they won't because we are doing the opposite of what we did in the beginning. And you know what? Even if they are a bit lopsided, Barbie doesn't mind. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so knit to the end of the row. Meet me back and then I'll show you how to cast off in purl. See, the other thing is this sweater actually gives you all kinds of techniques to practice. You know what? I'm not even going to make you come back because we're at the end of the row. Okay, so now to cast off the other sleeve... We are going to cast off in pearl. Okay, it's a bit different, but you got this. You've already mastered the hardest row. So, yarn to the front. We're going to pearl first one, pearl the second one. Now, you're taking that first stitch on your needle and you're bringing it over the second stitch. Okay, let's do it again. So we cast off one. And we're casting off two. I think I went blurry there. Let's do it again. Purl it. 
and then bring that back one over top of the three. And I kind of put my finger there so it doesn't fall off. These are tricks of the trade. So that was three and we're taking off, we're casting off five. So this is four. One more is five. Okay, and then purl the rest of the row. And meet me back. So this is what we've got so far, everyone. All my little gems. You have ribbing, body, sleeve, back of the sleeve, and now we're gonna do the back of the body. So just like before, you're gonna do 10 rows of stockingette stitch, one knit, one, one whole row knit, one whole row purl for 10 rows, okay? So you do that, meet me back, and then we'll do the, the ribbing. Okay, so I did the 10 rows for the body, so now we're gonna do that ribbing stitch again. So just a reminder, it's knit one stitch, and then you purl. So you bring your yarn to the front and you purl one stitch. Bring your yarn to the back, knit. Bring your yarn to the front, purl. We're doing that for three rows, okay? Three rows and then meet me back. And there we go. So look at this. Isn't it great? I just love it. Okay, so now we're casting off. We're almost done. So you're gonna continue working in your knit and your purl. So you're gonna knit one, purl one, and then you're gonna bring that stitch over. Then you're gonna knit one, bring the stitch over. You're gonna purl one, bring the stitch over. Knit one, bring the stitch over. Purl one, bring the stitch over. Knit one, bring the stitch over. So I'd just like to take this opportunity um, to say that if you've gotten any value from this video, please hit that like and subscribe because, you know, having subscribers helps me grow my business. There we go. And then we're knit and over. And uh, yeah, and if you want, you can send me a thanks. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I was just talking to my son about the fact that uh, they have these these thanks that you can do a monetary value doing a thanks to a creator. I have been doing this channel for over five years. I have never gotten one of those. I think it's just a ploy to think that, uh, you know, all, everyone can do all these fancy things, but most people don't. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be the first, go right ahead and, and prove me a liar, but okay. So we've, we went to the last stitch, we made the loop big, we're cutting our yarn, leaving extra so we can use it to sew. We're gonna pull our tail through our loop, pull tight. Now you need your darning needle. So here's my darning needle. And we're gonna just fold this over. Oh, look at that. We ended up with both of them on the same side. Oh well, okay. so. Take one of them, because they're both long, if you had listened to me. We're gonna thread our needle, and then we're just gonna do a whip stitch. So you may say to yourself, what is a whip stitch? And I am gonna teach you. So you go in at the bottom, and you're going through both 
Um, and I always do two stitches because this is where there's going to be the most stress. Stress, And then you just go in one side, in the other, and you're always starting from the same side. This side to this side. And here we go. And we're just going to do this. Oh my goodness, can I make it more complicated? There we go. <clears throat> So you want to do this up the side. Just like this. Okie dokie. And then when you get to the armpit, you're just going to kind of turn your, well, you're not turning your work, but angle your work a bit differently. And we're just going to go up this arm. Okay, again at the end of the arm, at the end of the arm, I put two stitches just because that's where there's going to be the most pulling. Barbie's little fingers are going to get, you know, caught because they always do. And then I'm going to just keep whip stitching back to the underarm. And then I'm going to do a knot. So to do a knot, you have your loop here. Don't pull all the way through. You're getting a loop. You're going to go through your loop once. You're going to go through your loop twice. And now you're going to pull tight. And you never cut where you're not. So we're going to continue with our whip stitch back to that armpit. Okay, now I just did two more stitches. I'm just going to cut that. And then we're going to take a length of yarn, do the other side the same way, and hide this thread because it turned out we didn't need it. And then you're done. You turn it back inside in, and then you're done. So I think for this one, you can do it plain or you can put embellishments. And I think for this one, I'm going to put a couple of buttons. I, uh, yeah, I'm thinking some buttons. Wouldn't that be fun? Just little ornamental buttons. You can also like do beads if you want to do beads. You can do... Um, a little iron on patch, but be careful that you don't melt your yarn. But yeah, you can do all kinds of things with this. Make it your own. If you want, you can embroider a flower on it, or you can take some scrap yarn and just put a whole bunch of floofy knots in it, you know? Like, just do whatever you want. And now that you know how to make it, you can make a whole bunch. They're great to sell at craft sales. They are great to donate to the church play, um, play center. They're, you know, just make them for your daughters, make them for your nieces, make them for yourself. There's a lot of people I know, adults, that, uh, collect Barbies or different um, fashion dolls. I think there's also a Judy doll and these would fit the Judy doll. Um, I believe also that these fit the shelf elf. But you would do the thicker, the bigger neck. So remember where I said you could do six or eight stitches for the opening? I would do the eight if you're making these for shelf elf. But yeah, like just play around. Okay, and then remember, I put two stitches at the sleeve and then I do a knot a little bit further in. Okay, so I hope you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I love to find out where people are watching me from. Um, the other day, I had someone that was watching me from the UK. That was just so exciting. 
So it always amazes me how many people I reach, how many little gems I have following. So have a great day. Bye now.